I'm gonna steal them all. I'm gonna steal... Guys, guys. Oh my goodness, I stole them all! Guys, guys, watch, watch, watch. It's the demon. What? Dude, you can just... What, man? Six player free for all match on a beautiful map, Dim Real Deal in Battle for Middle of One on a patch 2.22. Everybody is picking random and we will get to play with the Isengard army. Let's do this. I feel like a Urukai right now, by the way, guys. I feel like I'm the stepbrother of Lourdes or maybe the step step uncle or nephew from Ugluk. And quick question to you boys, which of the Urukai heroes do you like more? Do you like Lourdes more? Or do you like Ugluk more? Ugluk is basically the person or the Uruk who are saying looks like meat's back on the menu, boys, you know? I personally like Lourdes a lot in the films because he was one of the only evil heroes who was able to kill a good hero. Remember there is Witch King who was able to kill Theodin King and there is Lourdes who was able to kill Boromir. That's pretty much it. I mean, Haldir died too in the films, but, you know, Haldir was not a very important hero. Theodin was the king of Rohan, very important character and Boromir was one of the fellowship members. Those two are definitely more important for the story compared to Haldir. Okay, we need we have Urukai, we have Warchant. I think that is a pretty solid faction in a free for all match. But the way we need to handle the situation is to fight front to back. Okay, we need to kind of kill the opponents, destroy the opponents' castles next to our castle, and then work our way up slowly but surely to the opposite direction of the map. And I like the evil factions here, because we can use the workers to grab settlements. There is a Mordor. Okay. I want to build up the work pit later on too, but it was lagging for a bit. Okay, hopefully it's going to be fine now. Okay, nice. Beautiful. We can use Warchant here and fight this. Smeagol doesn't stand a chance. Okay. Oh, we definitely need work pit, okay? We have double Mordor against us. But again, it's a 1v1v1v1v1 1v1 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 situation. So they should basically fight against each other too. But those 3 for all games, they can easily turn into a 1v2, 1v3, 1v4 situation sometimes. Maybe, in, maybe not intentionally, but that can definitely happen. So we need to be careful. The way, we, uh, the way I like to play the 3 for all matches the most is to participate in fighting as much as I potentially can. Because it's a race for the power points, okay? The more we are involved into fighting, the more power points we will be able to gather. But most importantly, our units are going to be higher leveled. Each level is going to make our units hit like a truck and become as tanky as a truck, okay? And for that reason, party speed, party speed, party speed. In BFME 1, the most important thing is to keep your units protected, okay? Because it's huge reward if you can level them up. Okay, you see the orcs are annoying, <laughs> okay? I, I don't want to lose the Urukai though. Because I can give them banner later on and they can respawn over time. In a free for all match you also get more money. But you can see our command points is pretty low. So the, basically the command points are always based on the format of the game. When you play a 1v1, the evil factions like Isengard and Mordor have 500 command points. And the good factions like Gondor or Rohan have 250 command points. So basically double the command points for the evil faction because the evil faction units usually also cost more command points okay but in this case if there is a good faction which i highly doubt because i see only orcs um he would have only 150 available command points but you know to justify this the buildings the resource buildings everything is leveling up way faster and you also get more money okay my works are hungry boys I mean, there are too many of them. We get slowed down big time. We need to be careful. I mean, we don't need to be careful, but I don't want to sit there and fight this. So, ideally, you basically slow down when you are trampling. And you need to be at least... You need to have, like, at least this movement speed to keep trampling, okay? There's, like, a code in the game. And I'm also learning this quite new. Because we are working on the patch 2.22 now for over a year. Even though I'm not making the coding part. But sometimes I'm also taking a look into that. Or, peep, you know, our coders are showing me the code so i get a bit more knowledge about what the bfme game is actually all about you know 
and it's quite fun too. And very soon, the new launcher is gonna come out. Very, very soon. Why it's lagging, man? It's always lagging. Okay, it should be fine though. Now we will wait for Lourdes, the fighting Urukai. The earlier we recruit them, the easier we will able we will be able to level them up. The, the, the level we are looking for is level 5, okay? That's gonna be the most important power spike because we are against double Mordor and there is a chance they will have two Nazgûs, one Witch King each, plus plenty of trolls. So we need the damage leadership from Lords, which is quite significant. 60% more DPS. Okay, my works are doing a good job. And this way we can also again, you know, destroy buildings, trample orcs, again, gather power points, very important. Creepy flirts. Come on, Lords. Dude, I'm lo <laughs> Dude, I became so bad in this game, man. I used to be so good in the past. The, the main reason, guys, I'm telling you, is the main reason I'm winning games, and I win majority of the games, not all of them, but the majority of the games, is simple because of the game knowledge. Dude, I'm playing this game for such a long time, you know? I know literally every single thing about this game, okay? But not because of my micro. I'm, I'm being quite um, honest. I think there are people who are definitely faster than me and have better macro than me, but they don't have the same game knowledge. Give it to Lourdes, so he can get to level almost 3. Look, he's not paying attention! Alright, one Gondor Knight down. We ate them. Looks like meets back on the menu, boys. Okay, so ideally, I mean, he creep one of the trolls, so ideally, I want to creep at least one troll with my, with my Lourdes. Then we should be good to go. And we also see a farm, so basically there is a good faction. I mean, there is a Gondor, we know that. My goodness, man, this Gollum is so annoying. Kill him, crossbow man, kill him. You can see, you know, the works are actually putting pressure. Ooh, ooh, dude, Boromir, you know what I did, what I, you know what I did to you in the films, right? You know, you remember? You better remember. Because it's about to happen to you one more time, my friend. Cripple him, lords. Draw your sword. Use carnage. Let it be... Oh, he knocked me down on the ground. <laughs> look, Faramir. Look, Faramir. You see Faramir, boys? He's running. He's abandoning his brother. Faramir, how it... F you know how it feels like the best. How, you know, when you are abandoned. Your daddy abandoned you. And now you abandon your own brother. Talking about abandoning... Aboard the mission, the creatures are coming. I've, our work should be able to get away, but I'm going to use Palantir. And hopefully my Lourdes is going to be able to run for his life. Run, Lourdes. Run, run. But they are so fast, these trolls. Uh, my Saruman has to come. But Saruman is still not recruited. I mean, he's not still not out, out of the city. I can't even talk. Oh, man. Uh, Saruman, man. Why so long, Saruman? Saruman. <laughs> okay. So, we need to revive him. And losing heroes is a big punishment in this game because the revive time is quite long. So, the recruit time compared to the revive time is way shorter. But the good thing is our loot is almost level 5. That's a very good thing. So, now it's about to make combos, okay? We need to make combos. And we can also level them up with the Saruman. It has a very low cooldown, 1 minute and 30 seconds. So, you can spam this. My suggestion is spam this on cooldown. So basically, whenever it's available, use it because it's free experience and you get such a huge power spike when you get your units level 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And remember, with level 3, you also get automatically fear immune, which also is very important. Too many orcs. Two mini orcs. Okay, so we will recruit now. I mean, revive now our lords. Our money is not looking that good, but we should, you know, it should be kind of getting in a good spot very, very soon. Industry is quite helpful. We have three lumber mills. Oh my! Dude, I will kill all your trolls, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Guys, I promise you. After this game, you will say to me, Shanks, you are the best Saruman in the game, okay? I will show you insane Saruman micro, not with the work star. Watch this. Saruman is like a very tricky hero. And for me, one of the most powerful and impactful heroes in the game by far. And pre-level 10, 
you know, I think Saruman is better in a, in an all-out fight compared to Gandalf. In a poke fight, basically you running around the map and farming power points, Gandalf is the best hero in the game. But in an all-out fight, the Warm Tongue ability, the Fireball, is super powerful. And, you know, the Warm Tongue can legit change the outcome of the game. Okay, so we have now 1, 2, 3, 4 combos. We can level them up one more time in a second with the Speechcraft. Burn every village. Okay. So now it's time. I will not bother killing those orcs. We can use my work riders for this. And I'm also going to recruit some of the ballista. Just put them inside the bees. You know, for the worst case scenario. Because there is a chance another player might attack us while we are on the on the conquering phase of the game. Okay. Look at this, man. Isengard army fully unleashed, boys. Fully unleashed. All right. Let's do this. I'm still kind of broke. What I want to do is I don't want to I don't want to be clumped into one region too much because trolls with trees they actually have like a splash damage, so I don't want to give them the chance to actually get inside the genes and crush me. Ideally, I want to also recruit some of the normal crossbowmen, so we can. The thing is, against Mordor, it's better to recruit crossbowmen because not only you will have more damage because they can use the skirmish formation, which combos can't, but they are also more mobile. So basically, we can kite them a bit easier. The combos are strong. They are quite tanky, but their weakness is the lack of, you know, movement. So basically they are kind of slow, and the trolls are fast, okay? So we need to play this kind of slow and smart. The thing is, if we lose all our army, we might lose the game. So we need to kind of play it smart. I want to scout a bit what's going on in the middle of the map. Maybe we can find somebody else to fight against. I'm, I'm, I still not don't feel like I'm very, very strong, right? You, you know, at this point. My combos need more experience. They need to be like level 4, 5-ish before I can dare to attack this Mordor. Okay. You see, with Crossbowman, we can have additional DPS. And the problem is, I'm also scared a bit because my Lord is not level 5 yet. I mean, he's going to be level 5 during the fight, but I want him to, I want him to, be, to be... I can't even talk. I want him to be level 5 before the fight gets started. Which... Oh! Okay. Combos! Okay. I mean, he has no leadership. You can see when the units are not glowing, they have no leadership. That means Boromir and Faramir, they have not the required level yet. Levels yet. I'm gonna cripple you, Boromir. Cripple him. Lords, do it. Look, they are sprinting. Oh! I missed the cripple! I'm okay. Oh my, what do you see this? My works, they might be in trouble, but here I'm able to farm power points a bit. I want to get like to uh, land if I can, the tainted land, so I can cover the enemy land when he's gonna use it. He's gonna kill my works. Please don't kill them. That's my only battalion left. Please not. Witch King, you will die for this. You will die for this, Witch King, okay. Even killed by Ballista. Look, towers are shooting like boom, boom, boom. It's the beautiful part about the evil base because the. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Big fight. Oh, oh. I'm gonna steal them all. I'm gonna steal. Guys, guys. Oh my goodness. I stole them all. All of them. You are now under my command. That's what I was trying to see. Saruman is game changer. That was his chance, his chance to shine bright like a diamond. Now I have a drummer troll sporting my army. Would you look at this? This is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, Mordor, he lost everything. <laughs> he lost everything, dude. Oh, man. Oh, the drummer troll get tech. I want to get Lourdes level 5. Please, please, Lourdes. Nice. So... Thank you very much. Why kill them when you can make them fight for you? Oh, this guy is done, so he's gonna be the first one who's gonna get defeated. Yes, uh, we just wiped him out. We just wiped him out so hard. Holy quackamole. That's what you like to see. And I think this move all alone deserves a like, boys. You see, I'm waiting, predicting the movement, 
and warm donging and making shark leave the game. Baby shark, do, 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 baby. <laughs> Defeated. I'm coming for you next, my friend. Who's next? Okay, so we have, I mean, we didn't lose anything during this fight. But most importantly, we got also lots of experience. So we can, you can see one of the combos is level 6, which is pretty powerful. And trust me now, one, this Gondor army doesn't stand a chance, okay? In a dream world, I want to get my Saruman to level 8. So we have the Will of Saruman unlocked. Yeah, you better run. Oh, there is Gandalf the Grey. <laughs> you have no power here. Oh, 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 don't chunk me, don't chunk me. Level 6. Oh, but here's Elvin Wood. I'm going to cripple him. It's lagging, dude. Stop it. Please don't look. Trebuchet? Run, 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 Okay. It's lagging, man. I'm so scared to lose my heroes. Um, We have money to revive them, but it's going to cost us so much time to get them back in the business, you know? So, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm too scared from a trebuchet. He has only one of them. One trebuchet only. We can maybe fight this. Let's try to fight this. I don't see Farami, though. Farami is far away, okay? Maybe we can kill Boromir first. We need to bring our heroes next to the... I mean, my lord is too low. And I'm kind of scared. Oh, look, Farami. Oh, this guy's getting sandwiched. There is another Mordor. Dude, how many Mordors are involved into this gameplay? That's kind of crazy. You know what time it is? It is time to send out the... Oh my, the red Mordor. <laughs> Dude, I'm feeling so bad for this Gondor now. But don't worry. I will end this misery for you, my friend. By destroying you. <laughs> So we need uh, siege weapons, of course, to enter Gondor. The thing is, I rather fight against Balrog with Isengard than against EOD. And because Balrog, you have to make a choice destroying, uh, you know, the beast. Gondor in lead, 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 lead game is just too powerful because of the summons. So basically, you can summon Rangers, Rohirrim, Eagles, and EOD. And EOD can kill your army. Then you can summon Rohirrim and Eagles. They can wipe out your structures. So it's definitely better to not fight against a lead, lead Gim Gondor. Because the power points and the summons are very, very powerful. He's saying, please. Dude, I will not show you mercy, man. We are in a war, man. Come on now. He's gonna make me look bad, by the way. He's gonna make me like look like a bad person. But, you know, I just didn't sign up for... Uh, peace contract, okay? I wanna see... I wanna know what's going on. They are kind of laughing and saying LOL. I think they are fighting on the opposite side of the map, on the left side. So when we destroy this Gondor at the bottom, um, we can make sure that the right side is completely cleaned up, you know? Oh, they are calling it GG. I want, I want to see this. Let's scout this. Okay, this... I think that is still alive. I think the top player... Oh! Oh man, hopefully it's not the top left Mordor who, got just, who just got defeated. Sorry for focus, I thought you are Shanks. <laughs> Sorry for focus, I thought you are Shanks. Hey man, Ari, I'm gonna come for you, my friend. I'm gonna come for you, okay? So now, uh, where is the explosive mine? Bring it, bring it to the wall. In the films, we blow up the Helm's Deep, but in the game, we will blow up this Gondor walls, okay? He's coming. <laughs> they are coming. Okay? I mean, we can, when somebody's getting defeated, we also get more command points. Okay, so guys, watch this. Uh-oh, dude, Explosive Man is such a cool unit too. Come on, come on. Go hit the camera. Drop it. Drop it. And boom, son. Mines. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm just gonna go inside the jeans, by the way. I'm gonna use Warchan here. He thinks he's safe in his white city, right? Um, oh, I, I cannot do this, actually. There is Gandalf also. We need to be careful. But it's Gandalf the Grey. Can you imagine this person is like... Look, I mean, I think he doesn't have power points. We enough to fight, of course. Look, he wanna creep? He wanna blast me? Oh, you have no power here. I mean, even if you blast me, it won't kill me because you have no white. It means your ability is not dealing too much damage. And the second warm tongue once again steal here i mean he's defeated there is no way he can survive this but hopefully he's not gonna leave you know so we can farm power points here destroying structure killing his units okay they've also freezing rain it's pretty good okay
Okay, in this case, the player who got defeated is the top left player. And now I think we, de we defeated two and oh my, what is happening here, man? They use freezing rain so they lose leadership bonuses. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. My combos, if I'm gonna lose this game like this, I will cry. If I'm gonna lose the game like this, I will cry. Oh, nice. Thank you for shooting my mind. He killed all his trolls. And his combos have no leadership bonuses. That's actually pretty good for me. Okay. Maybe we can beat that in time. In the meantime, we can use the Ballista to take over the map. Look, my crossbowmen are zooming. Okay. Alright, so we need to make sure to get there before losing the entire castle. Remember, the golden rule is to not buy a second castle in free for alls. And because you might be wondering, uh, Shanks, you destroyed two players, but you never captured their castle. It's because against the you know, gentleman's agreement. You can, if you want to, of course, but it's just not a cool move, you know? Because you can't lose when you do this. When you have like three castles being completely split up from each other, it's going to be quite hard for anybody to destroy you. To defeat you. Look, this Isengard was also rotating up to me. Actually, he has like very, very strong combos. Double Isengard army boys. Big Fiesta is about to happen. Rain is still active for the next couple of minutes. So, we have... I mean, they have no leadership. And... The problem is, we lost the Uruk Pit during this fight, you know? So, our Uruk Pit is gonna be only level 1. Oh my, this actually is like a huge Isengard army. Come on, Saruman, I need to be level 8. You have like lots of highly level combos, but my opponent is not being way weaker. I think he has more army than I do. I have like still population, which I'm not using. Okay, we need to make sure to... Guys, come on. We need to make sure to cripple this Saruman first. Okay. Um, hold on. <gasps> my heroes! No, 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 no. It's lagging too, you know. Look, he got chunked. My Saruman got chunked big time. I cannot fight on the on the tainted land. I'm gonna use fireball if I can. Use fireball, nice fireball. We can you can use heal, nice. Oh, he crippled my lords. Okay, boys, guys, I'm gonna try to make a risky move, but I have to do it. Okay, wish me luck, wish me luck, because I think I'm gonna lose the fight because I lost my lords leadership, and I'm gonna kill his Saruman first. Always focus his heroes. He stole a couple of them, but now he needs to move. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look, 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 look. Guys, guys, watch, watch, watch. Oh, boom. What? Dude, guys, you can tell me whatever you want, but I have balls made of steel, okay? And this move right there won me the fight here, by the way. A double ETF all you want. It was a phenomenal blast, boys. Holy guacamole. It was actually so good, man. I'm telling you, we, like, without this, we could have not won this, by the way. Blast kill Uruks with leadership? You have no idea. It's rain, raining, my friend. And um, your Saruman was dead. So you basically... I mean, rain is not active anymore. But uh, your Saruman is dead. You have no armor leadership. Lords only gives you damage. And without armor leadership, you die. Because it's Saruman. Saruman is also like a creator bonus. Because he's, you know, he made the Uruks, right? He made the Uruks. So he knows <laughs> he knows their weaknesses also, you know? Okay. We have a good amount of money. Look at the minimap, boys. You know, map control is very rewarding. But at this point, we cannot use the money for anything. We, uh, we need to just be a bit more patient and wait for the heroes to be back up. But uh, we can already make a move. Because the heroes are way more mobile compared to our units. Our units, the combos especially, are quite slow. So when we send them forward, um, the heroes, they will join again very soon. And we can, you know, so just send the heroes to our location. I mean, yeah. Basically, Saruman died during this move. But I think this... Guys, what do you think about this move with the blast, you know? I think it was needed, right? Or am I being delusional here? I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe I could have saved my Saruman. But, you know, I will take it, dude. I will take it. Okay. The problem is I didn't purchase the Forge Bleeds, you know. I might actually later on purchase it. And we also have almost Balrog. Very, very soon. Look, we have lots of crossbowmen separated. 
Uh, also explosive mine chilling over there. Um, unfortunately, we cannot sneak them in. So we need to be careful. So the plan here is to get to Baldrock, okay? So we need one power open and a half. Uh oh. Are they fighting? Yeah, they're fighting. Mordor against Isengard over here. Maybe he's not paying attention to his Nazgul. Does he? Oh yeah, we have too much too much DPS now, too much firepower. I'm gonna use Palantia to get more movement speed. Yeah, they were fighting, but it's a horrible fight to take for Mordor over there. It's a horrible, horrible fight to take. And I'm not sure how close this Isengard is for his own Balrog, but hopefully not that close. Now it's gonna be a 2v1 situation against you, my friend. Yeah, lol all you want. <laughs> lol all you want. I'm gonna focus on the sentry towers. He's not demolishing them. So I'm, my plan is to farm power points here, right? That's all I'm looking for. Look at the damage output, man. Holy guacamole. <laughs> Love free for all. <laughs> okay. Lourdes is back in the business. Okay, now watch the move, boys. We are beating him. Uh, it, I want to make it like I'm retreating here, right? So I want him to follow me. Okay, now beautiful fireball from him. Watch this. Say hello to my little friend. It's the demon. The demon of the ancient world. He's going to think I'm going for his Sarma, but I'm not going to do this. I'm actually going to just fly inside the jeans. Use the ignite while you are having the fly animation. So you don't waste time. You have only one minute time with Balrog. You need to use every single second quite wisely. And we will, you, we will be using breath fire. Okay. So we got to keep also an eye to his Saruman. He might try to steal our army. So we need to... The second he gets into the range, we need to shoot at him. That was a beautiful one. But you can see when you use Warm Tongue, you can't move for a few seconds. And then we will kill him. And when you kill him, you get the control back. <laughs> yeah, slow, yeah. I mean, imagine he can he can do this instantly. Can you imagine this? He, he steals and immediately runs away. That would make him to the most broken hero in the game. He's gonna call it GG. Okay, beautiful. So we have only one more opponent left to be destroyed, boys. The Mordor. You spray fire. Just kill everything what he has left on the field. Spray fire. Beautiful. Baldrog. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Okay. Make more units. I'm pretty tempted to actually rebuild the armory. And... What? Dude, you can't just... What, man? Dude, it's so bad. We lost, like, the majority of the army, including lords. To be honest, I didn't pay attention because he was saying GG. I was expecting him to leave. Oh, man. I mean, we have money to, re to recruit more units, but again, we need to be patient for Lourdes to be back. Guys, you got this. <laughs> okay, he has, been, he, has left, he has left the game, okay? Okay, so at this point, it's about spamming units, right? Um, just make more units. Yeah, I'm pretty... I will also build the armory very soon for the Forge Blades. Need Lourdes back in the business. Without the Forge Blades, the works, they don't feel right. I want to take over the map, you know? Like, the map control is going to be like a security when something goes wrong. And with, like, lots of settlements outside, we can even turn the base into a AI, AI base. So we can have, like, three, four Uruk pits, war pits, and we can just spam units, you know? And with map control, we can do this. Saruman is so powerful, man. Nice, too. Yeah, some people are actually asking for a level 10 Saruman ability, like a Thunderbolt. But, quick question to you guys. Do you like the Will of Saruman ability we have added to the patch 2.22? Or would you rather have it removed and replaced with a level 10 ability? Like a thunderbolt, a powerful lightning coming from the sky, you know, hitting like a truck. You can let me know in the comments. Okay. Come on, Lourdes, we need you. I'm just, you know, at this point, I'm just spamming units and Ballista. Because they will on there is only one person left. So we don't have to pay attention to be attacked from somebody else while this is happening. And you can see it's going to turn into a 1v1 situation. At the beginning of the game, we had only 300 available command points. And now we have, again, 500 available command points. Which shows you my point of view. I was mentioning this before. The less people are involved, the higher we get the command points. Up to maximum 500 when you play Evil Faction. 
and the more people are involved, the more people are playing, the, you know, in a, in a 3v3, 4v4 situation, the less command points we will have. I think EA Games made this intentionally back in the day, because we need to keep in mind that this game was made in 2004, and imagine you have like 500 command points available for everybody in a 4v4 situation, and everyone is playing Evil Faction, it would legit mean you have 4,000 worth of command points potentially on the field, and I think the game's engine couldn't handle this, you know, it would literally break and explode your PC, okay? Mumo kill. alright, Mumo kill. unfortunately for you Mumo kill, you have a big counter here, fireball him, oh, move, 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 okay, oh, now he's gonna go mad, now the Mumo kill is going crazy, run, I'm so scared, look, look him go, <laughs> He's going on his own unit. He's going on. It. Oh my goodness! Yeah, dude, Mumakil, you can't control him anymore. Not, not the player can't control this when, when this happens. Micro, you see, also in this situation, crossbowmen are just much, much better. Com what? What's happening with Mumakil? He's on steroids. What steroids? What? <laughs> What's going on with you, Mumakil? Are you fine? Are you good, bro? It went for me, yeah, dude. Mumo kill when he is raging, he doesn't care about friend or foe. He doesn't care. Dude, I'm so rich now. I mean, I'm not that rich when you look at the money, but I have like so many units in the queue. Come on, kill him, 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 kill him. Please kill him a bit faster. You see, the Mumo kills are so annoying, man. So annoying. I have rain. I can also use land. Steal the trolls again. But my Saruman got knocked down on the ground this time. I don't know what's going on, man. It's big fiesta. I want to kill the Nazgûl first, if I can. Ah, uh, my, my lords. Oh man, I could have healed him, man. I didn't pay attention. My bad. My bad. Kill Witch King. Steal the combos and kill the remaining trolls first. Okay. It's our lane, by the way. So in the is selective. So basically, trolls have no leadership ability available, and without leadership, they will die in a few seconds. They could have been... There is another Nazgul. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Kill him, please. Nice. We can, if you want to, summon Valrock once again, but I'm not gonna do this. I will try at least my best to win this, to destroy this last player without the need of a Valrock. And hopefully we can pull this off. Because finishing off the game with Valrock feels like a cheat for me. The Valrock and AOD are just too powerful. He's gonna reach again. But the Vork Riders are coming. Look at them. Okay. Alright. So we have only one crossbowman level 7 left with Saruman. And hopefully it's gonna be enough to kill the remaining trolls and Mumu kills if he has any left. We will find out very soon. You can go for Uruk Pit number 2. And just, you know, set the waypoint and spam units at this point, right? I mean, the last stand of Mordor. What can men do against such a reckless hit, Mordor? Come on, Lourdes. How long do you need Lourdes, actually, to get back in the business? Dude, the slaughterhouse level 3, so tanky. Holy cacamole. Oof, big oof. Another Mumu kill. My Saruman got level 10. Dude, that's something you don't see very often. But trust me, the move there with the blast uh, against the Isengard... At, the, at my own base was... Oh! Nice dodge, okay? Kill him! Nice! So, you see the level advantage? We have only one crossbow man, but he's so strong at this point. I want to kill this Mumu kill pan, by the way. I want to kill this Mumu kill pan because I don't want him to recruit any more Mumu kills anytime soon. I'm gonna ride through them and watch on all of them together. Okay. Kill this trolls. Nice. Kill the other troll. Come on, do it. Nice. And kill the other troll. Nice. You see? Saruman is so good. <laughs> you know, Saruman is so good. Kill him. Look at this man. The level 10 crossbow man, dude. It's unbelievable how strong he is. Oh, there is the explosive mine. Don't shoot it. Kill the Mumu Kill Pan so he cannot recruit any more Mumu Kills. 
and we should be in a good spot, right? Right? It's gonna call it. Okay. Like promised, boys, we are not gonna use Balrog for the last person. And that's gonna be it, boys. GG well played. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. I will see you in the, in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond Sanders. But first of all, take a look into the end game statistics. And look, we are the wealthiest, the sexiest, and the most killed killing army ever. See you guys next time. Peace out.